Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is today's Connecting Christ video devotion. We are in week week 73, so we're in the book of Zechariah. We're continuing our trek through the Minor Prophets. And eventually we will finish up the, uh, the Old Testament and move on to the New Testament. It's a wonderful transition. And we'll start, we, once we get there, we will start, well, probably the next couple of weeks, start with the great gospel message, gospels themselves that we read of Jesus and what he has done and what he has come to do. So, today we're in the book of Zechariah. It's one of the last two, the last two minor prophets. Next, The next week we'll be covering the minor prophet of Malachi, or for those of you who have heard this joke before and my mispronunciation of it, Malachi, the only Italian prophet in the Bible. And to the cacophony of groans of that laugh, we uh, go back to Zechariah. So Zechariah is, chapter 8, it speaks of this coming peace and prosperity in Zion that, that God seeks to bring about himself, and he's determined he will do this. It's not that he's going to maybe do it or kind of, sort of do it. He will. And that fierce determination is all brought about by his steadfast love, the love that he, his, his, his own reputation is founded on. So if you think about that, how many people do you know that are rather determined? Think about that for a second. You can take a moment to pause the video and think. Now, there's a difference between being determined and just being stubborn. Though they can be used in the same way, uh, being stubborn often, well, we know, we, we, we can think of people who are stubborn. Um, I don't want to name any off the top of my head that I know, and you can uh, joyfully laugh and chuckle along with me as you think of those people you know who are stubborn. But those who are determined, they have a drive in them. You can see people who are determined as they they are adamant about getting something done or they're adamant about what they've come to do. God himself is adamant about what he has come to do, what he has set forth. He's laid the ground forward in himself. He's laid the ground so that all might know him. He's laid the ground forward in his steadfast love and in the, at the end, we see, at the end, of, or in the middle, excuse me, middle of chapter 8, we see that. In verse 12, it says, For there shall be a sowing of peace, the vine shall give its fruit, and the ground shall give its produce, and the heavens shall give their due, and I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things. See, the, the people of Israel had, and Judah had been cast out into exile. But God was determined to bring about his plan, his plan to unite all things to himself. And so he laid the plan forth. He planted what was needed. And so what we see here is just another prophecy towards, or not just, but another prophecy towards the shoot that will come. The shoot of Jesse, the shoot of David that uh, will, will come out and rule with righteousness and purity forever. And in him there is peace. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding. We see that in Jesus. This is pointing to Jesus and, and how this God adamantly brings about this steadfast love in that he brings peace on earth in himself. Now imagine you can, well... Many of you might be wondering where on earth that actually is right now. As we recognize what has taken place in our country this last week, we mourn. And we wonder. We wonder what's going on. But yet, we don't wonder or mourn with as those who don't have hope. We, we know the end of the story, and we know that Christ shall once again return and restore all things and, and make all things new as he has brought everything to himself. And so, though it may not seem like you're doing much, 
though it may not seem like you're heavily involved with your hands, pray. Pray that God would continue to bring peace amidst these trying times. Pray that God would continue to sow the seed of his word so that all might know him and the power of his cross and resurrection. We ask this all in his name. God's blessings on the rest of your week.